When I met Becky and it was a blind date setup and it was kind of funny because I wanted to exaggerate. I wanted to sell myself to be this perfect guy to her because I saw her photo from the neck up. And I thought, I don't know. I'll try it. <laughs> I just really need to see her first. And we talked on the phone for about five hours. And I have to say that it was like taking me back to high school when I had a crush. She was everything that I had. And I was a career dater. I mean, I'm 50 and I've never been, I've never been married, but I think that she embodied everything that I ever wanted in a partner. Uh, our first date was in this restaurant. Uh, and I sat at the table over there and I told her, if you like me and you're attracted to me, don't order a water. But if you're not feeling it or for some reason I just don't do it for you, order a water and I'd love to develop a friendship with you because if we don't have chemistry, I can always use a friend. Um, and when the waiter, I was fashionably late like tonight. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry I was late to my own party tonight, but it's weird. Buttons break, things happen. I don't know what it is about that night, but I was 20 minutes late just like tonight. And it's just, it, I don't know, it, it's weird. I get giddy, I get butterflies. I get as excited about her as I did that first night. And when I saw her and I realized that she was the person that she was, I was, I was sold. I was in 100%. Um, you guys, it's so funny because every one of you have come up to me that have met her and say, you are so lucky. What a good girl. What a good woman. I'm waiting for somebody to walk up to her and say, you're such a lucky girl. I don't think, I don't know why. That's not happening as much. I've sat people tonight and I've served drinks, people to strangers, but I haven't heard that yet. So, um, and with that, I just, you know, um, I knew, I knew that she was somebody I wanted to spend all my life with because I lost my father and I couldn't. I told her I missed going to say my goodbyes to my father. And she drove all the way down to Houston and she went to my father's marker and she put flowers around it. She took a picture of my father's gravesite. She came all the way back to Dallas and she framed it and she gave it to me. And, you know, we all use the word friends lightly. We think we have friends, but we really, when you're Really, when somebody goes to that level, you know the commitment is for life. And I was completely touched by that. My mother was touched by that. And that says everything about the character. Aside from the fact that she's beautiful on the outside, she has a great spirit. She is spontaneous, she's fun, she's structured. She's an emergency room nurse. She saved my mother's life. My mother's life almost ended three or four years ago. And Becky ran to her aid. And I have to tell you, I was really scared. I had a three minute conversation with God in the middle of the street, waiting for the ambulance. And she's the reason my mom is breathing today. So I'm just grateful for everybody. Becky, can you come here for just a second, please? You're responsible for me putting smoking. You're responsible for the 35 extra pounds. <laughs> you are, you're my best friend. 
and I love you. And I want you to know that I talked to Shelly tonight on the phone, and I asked Shelly if she might have her blessings, but I would like to spend my entire life with you. And I would like to ask you to you be my wife, and if you would spend the rest of your life with me. I know there are some things that go with that, and I'm willing to work on some of them. Yeah. 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 See if I can do this. She felt this That's earlier right. and I tried to convince her it was a box of Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> Will oh, you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Are